Item number SCP-911 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-911 is to be stored in a locked high-value item containment box. It is not to be handled with bare skin unless being used in an experiment. Researchers are warned to take extreme caution when dealing with subjects created by SCP-911 due to the possibility of contamination by data expunged. See Addendum 9112. Description SCP-911 is a piperous grow of the Egyptian Book of the Dead dating from approximately 1375 BCE. Analysis has not shown any anomalous composition of materials. When a living human makes skin contact with SCP-911, in 90% of cases, their personality, memory, and higher brain functions, consciousness, for lack of a better term, are drawn into the scroll, leaving a body with no higher brain function. Unless kept on life support, affected subjects die of dehydration in approximately three days. There is a 10% chance that contact with SCP-911 will exchange the mind and personality of the subject making contact with that of one previously stored in the scroll. Persona recovered from SCP-911 are described in Addendum 911, and these subjects must be kept in Foundation custody, both for study and for their own safety. Only D-Class personnel should be used in experiment with SCP-911. Due to the low probability of ever recovering the consciousness of the original subject, due to the interview with Subject 9114, no further experimentation is to take place without O5 approval. Addendum 9111 Recovered Subjects from SCP-911 Subject 9111 Inhabiting the body of Agent Beep who discovered SCP-911 at Beep in Beep. Subject 9111 claims to be a librarian from the Royal Library of Alexandra, captured by SCP-911 circa 180 BCE. Subject retains no memory of his captivity. After recovering from the shock of being transported over 2,000 years into the future, Subject has been quite cooperative and provided a considerable amount of useful historical background on his era. Researchers speaking the appropriate dialect of Greek are welcome to interview with him. Subject 9112, formerly D16173. Subject 9112 claims to be King Beep of Beep, a noted collector of ancient manuscripts who suffered a mysterious fate in 1327. Whether or not he is lying about his identity is currently under dispute by several of his interviewers. Subject 9113, formerly D16292. Subject 9113 has provided no useful information as to his identity or origin. Subject is apparently insane due to long-term disassociation and sensory deprivation and screams incoherently in medieval French if the environment darkens below approximately 1,000 humans. Subject 9114 Formerly D16544 Subject 9114 is Professor Beep documented as having been found dead while doing research on ancient languages on December 5th, 1931. Professor Beep claims to have been sentient during his entire captivity and have maintained his sanity through meditation and strength of will. Addendum 9112 Interview with Subject 9114 Professor Beep on March 12th, 2010 How were you captured by the object? I was researching the usage of some hieroglyphs and touched the manuscript. The next thing I knew, I was floating in an endless void. Note, further descriptions by 9114 of this void are completely similar to descriptions of SCP-3001 recorded by Dr. Scranton. Investigation into possible links between the two anomalies are ongoing. What was it like where you were? Empty, featureless, nothing to do but float. There were others, but most of them are drifting, forever asleep. Occasionally, a portal opened, and some new soul drifted in. 
If you were awake, why couldn't you leave before you did? The portal could only open for a few seconds. Sometimes one of the sleepers would drift out by chance. They were always near it, and only one could go through. We'd have to fight through the crowd, and I guess it took years for me to make it in time. Besides, we had to avoid him. Him. The beep. The one who made that place. He would merge with anyone he could capture, or they knew would be part of him and lost to the world. He is mad, screaming for thousands of years. Nothing but screaming. He screams about the collective. He knows it will make him God. But it would be nothing but madness. All that he learns, he screams into the void. The beep. Why hasn't he left? He is waiting. Waiting for the right time, the right body. He knows of you, merged with one of your agents. He screams about SCPs now, and how he must merge with SCP Beep and SCP Beep. The Foundation will save him. It made no sense at a time. But I understand now. They are people or things in your possession. They will make him day to expunge. Don't let him out. Never let him out. Interview ended. Subject 9114 began crying. Addendum 9113. Interviews with Subject 9112 have described an entirely different environment inside the scroll. However, 9112 also speaks of a malevolent, insane entity. In light of this, the Foundation has taken measures to data expunge or via command ordered experimentation on SCP-911 to cease without clearance from two or more O5-level personnel. Upon reading a transcript of this interview, 